High fly to left. Borges back. Feeling for the wall. Has to turn now. Off the 10. And here comes another one of those doubles. What would you say to those people who say that that your swing is is built for Fenway Park because of your tendency to go left, left center? I hope they're right. Yeah. That's what I would say to them. You know, yeah. uh, I've uh, I've I felt pretty comfortable here through my career. I've had kind of limited experience, but you know, I've always felt pretty comfortable here, and uh, you know, just the atmosphere. I think just kind of amps you up that much more and makes you want to play hard that much more every night uh, just to, to see the fans and the following and the you know the backing you have has been uh, has been pretty pretty surreal for me. Mitch you're a, a gold glove winning defender at first base. I was talking to a Scott today and he said well you shouldn't be surprised do you watch his pregame preparation? Tell me a little bit about what you do pregame uh, defensively. Um, it took a little while for me. I, I guess I would say I was kind of raw when I when I got to the big leagues. Um, Ron Washington was my manager, and he's really big on the defensive side of the ball. Got me out there and did early work with me every day, and really got me into a good routine. You know, I feel like with defense, you kind of have to have a routine as as well. You know, not just like you know, you go to the cage offensively and. You've got your T work, your flips, your side, whatever you do is, is your routine that you do every day and stick with it. Um, I feel like defensively you kind of have to do the same. So, you know, I kind of drew up a little bit of a plan or, you know, talked to them and, and developed a little bit of a plan of, of how I wanted to approach it every day with my footwork, moving through the ball and, and um, you know, kind of based it off of that. And, and from then on, I just stuck with it, you know, and I feel like, you know, you can fine tune some stuff and work on a few things here and there to, to kind of increase that. But for the most part, I, I just stick with my routine, you know, a few balls in front of me, a few balls to my right and left, keep my feet moving through the ball, kind of fill the ball with my feet instead and maybe get a few picks in every other day or every three days and, and uh, really just kind of keep my, I guess my pace. I try to, I try to speed up my, my practice to make it where it would slow down the game a little bit so uh, that's kind of the way I, I look at it you know I think if I do that then it makes me not have those panic times in the game as much you know you're still gonna have them at times because of uh, adrenaline and stuff but uh, I think that's kind of that helps me slow it down a little bit you know you can't be sitting across from a gold glove winner without asking him about his memories of his first glove <laughs> do you have any I do actually. My first glove that I used was my dad's, so um, he still got it in his closet. Yeah. Uh, and I remembered a, I was showing uh, somebody a picture of me when I was a kid of my second glove, and I was like, man, that was one of my favorite gloves growing up. And I thought I lost it, and then I told my dad, he's one day, I was like, I, I think I lost that glove, and he goes, no, nah, you didn't lose it. And I was like, what are you talking about? He goes, I think it's in my closet. No, I think yeah. he kept it, but. Uh, <laughs> You know, do you the, remember the, whose model it was? Or I, did, I, don't, any, yeah. I, I don't remember. Uh, yeah. But obviously all those gloves and, and, and winning a gold glove and stuff would have never happened without, without my dad. Ground ball after ground ball hit, I mean, buckets of balls to me. Um, wherever I was playing, you know, if it was outfield or first or, you know, getting down on the bucket and catching my bullpens and stuff. So, you know, all that stuff wouldn't have happened if I didn't have him to, to, uh, to, prepare me for it, I guess, and have me ready for it.